Kappa's Kitchen with me, Kappa from BU. Today, we're going to be doing Whoopay! Joshua Wiseman's making the Popeye's chicken sandwich at home, but better. But we're going to be making it better by following the exact same way he does it. So, let's go! Why are we making a chicken burger? Because we love chicken. Isn't that right, cameraman James? But, but I thought you weren't going to use my real name. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble! Anyway, we're doing the batter for the chicken fillet sandwich. First, we need some buttermilk. Two cups. That's surely two cups, you reckon? <laughs> if we need more, we need more. Two tablespoons of salt. Lucky I got my tablespoons. <laughs> that looks like a whole lot of salt. <laughs> Jesus. Far out. And then two teaspoons of garlic salt. Mm. One. <laughs> two. Half a teaspoon of cayenne powder. Lucky I have my half teaspoon. And I have my... And I have my cayenne powder. Whoa. What are the chances of this, huh? Fire out. This is some good quality content. Turns out there's a seal on it. <laughs> So this is why you probably need a parent, just to take the seals off before you start. I get my seal of approval. All right, that's good enough. Now, all we need is chicken thighs. So first, when you get your chicken, you wanna actually clean off the little fatty bits and then cut it down to small pieces like so. Pound it down, you wanna beat the meat, and then mix up the batter so it's a good consistency. Then grab your chicken, which uh, you will then put into the bowl. Make sure it's covering all of the chicken, so it can retain all of all of those good spices and flavors. After this, you'd want to wash your hands thoroughly, as it's hygiene. You should be doing that. COVID-19. Then take it over to the fridge, where you'll keep it in the fridge for at least an hour. Now we need to make the seasoning and to do this you need two cups of plain flour, just pop them into a bowl, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of cayenne powder and half a teaspoon of whatever that last one was. I didn't read it in time. Kind of zoom into your toes. <laughs> On behalf of us at Kappa from BU, the production staff and everyone, we would like to apologise. We don't condone that kind of behaviour and we don't like it representing us. That's not what we're about. But anyway, this is the recipe for the mayo that Joshua Wiseman made. You don't have to make the mayo, you can just use anything you want really. But we decided to make it because well, we did. Anyway, you get your batter out the fridge and uh, you put your chicken into the seasoning. You want to pat it down just so it gets all through it. Do so for all of it. And then uh, it's ready for frying. Also, recommended tip don't eat it, it's not cooked. So, you want to get your, your pan. I got a bit of a deeper one because you gotta put oil in it. I used the wrong oil. I used olive oil. Use like canola oil or something that's actually meant for cooking. My mum had a go at me and it wasn't pleasant. So don't do what I did. I also put the heat a bit too high. Use like a medium heat. You don't need it to be too hot. Otherwise 
it's possible that you may burn it. Not that I burnt it. Use tongs, they are also advised in this kind of situation. As using your hands, you could burn them because the oil was hot. I also recommend doing two at a time just because that's what Joshua Wiseman recommended and I'm not a pro chef. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're <laughs> If you cook it right, you know, it might be alright. <laughs> Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Mmm. <laughs> so burnt. Tastes like something not good. Nice. That's actually good. <laughs> mm. So, cut your bun. Remember to toast the inside so it doesn't get all soggy when you add the mayonnaise. And then uh, put some pickles, if you want pickles, you don't obviously have to. The chicken, bit of cheese, you can toast your cheese, or melt it, whatever you want to call it. Bit of lettuce. That's actually pretty good. Bon appetit. Oh, yeah. Alright. Now, the chicken burger. It was good. I did enjoy it. Crunch factor was there. That's what you need. Flavour was there. Was it better than the Popeyes chicken burger? Well, I don't know. I'm not from America and I've never had Popeyes. So therefore, I give it a... Seven and a half out of ten. With burger, I'll give it a solid seven out of ten.